this past week, we received a pretty bad negative review on our Etsy shop. And the worst part of it was that not only did we disappoint a customer, but it was totally our fault. But we're humans and sometimes we make mistakes. And in this video, I wanna show you guys how we responded to that negative review. If you don't know me, my name is Julia. I own an Etsy shop called Petite Flowers Studio. I have been on Etsy for the past eight years. And on my Etsy shop, I specialize in baby showers and bridal showers decorations. Negative reviews freaking suck. And us as sellers are always doing everything that we can to make sure that we only get five star ratings. But things happen, like I said, we're humans and sometimes we make mistakes. And to be honest, the majority of our reviews are not even our fault. We have gotten negative reviews because USPS was behind orders or because a customer purchased a digital product thinking that it was a physical product or because the shopper didn't realize the size of the item that they purchased even though we described it under our listing description. Trust me you will get a negative feedback even though nothing was your fault and you didn't do anything wrong. But the important thing here is that negative reviews should be the exception, not the rule. Right now on our Etsy shop, we have over 3,200 reviews and I think 30 of them are one star rating. If you are frequently getting bad feedbacks, then I highly suggest that you take those feedbacks into consideration and you fix the problem. I'm going to link a video down below for you guys where I share my best tips on how to get five star reviews on your, on your Etsy shop. If you are struggling getting reviews, then I highly recommend this video so you can watch that after you're done with this one. A few weeks ago, we got this review. The word groom on line one is misspelled. We didn't notice until we were at the bridal shower and played the game. My mom and I, which I own the Etsy shop with my mom, we were so heartbroken and we just couldn't believe that we made such a silly mistake. Not only did we get a one star rating, but we also really disappointed a customer. We were very heartbroken and this was something that it could have been easily prevented. So how did we respond to this negative review? And this is also something that you can write if you get a feedback like this, which hopefully knock on wood, that won't happen. But again, mistakes happen. And in case you get a review like this, this is how you can respond. I'm so sorry to hear you had an unpleasant experience with your purchase. We take the quality of our designs very seriously, but for the first time, unfortunately, the misspelling was not noticed. We take all reviews seriously and we'll use this as an opportunity to improve our attention in the future. We sincerely apologize and thank you for taking the time to share your experience with us. We contacted the customer and the order was refunded. So first of all, apologize. Say that the customer satisfaction is your number one priority and that you take that very seriously. Second of all, take the blame and admit that you have made a mistake. You can then say that you will take this feedback in order to improve. And also make sure that you thank the shopper for taking their time and giving you a feedback. Back. You can then end the review by saying how you fixed the situation. And as you can see for hours, we say we contacted the customer and the order was refunded. To be honest, in situations like this, there's not really much that you can say other than apologize and explain how you dealt with the situation. But if this ever happens to you, then this is just an idea, an outline of what you can write. Now, as I said, a lot of your negative reviews won't be something that you actually did wrong. It would probably be something that it was totally out of your control. 
And that very same day that we got that one star rating, we also got a three star rating review. But before I share with you guys the response to that review, I want to remind you that on October 11th at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time, I am opening up the Females Connection course to new students. And this will be the very last class of 2022. As you can see, I have a lot of experience with Etsy. I've been doing this for a really long time. And in this course, I share with you everything that you need to know and do in order to be successful on Etsy. As I always say, Etsy doesn't need to be hard or complicated. You just need to have an experienced mentor to guide you through the way and tell you exactly what you need to be doing. Within this course, you will find over 80 classes, a private Instagram page, a private Facebook community for networking, and monthly group Zoom calls. This course is an investment of $200 and you will have lifetime access and this course is self-paced so you can take your time with it. There will also be payment plans available if that works better for you. I will leave the link down below so you can sign up for it. That way you'll be notified as soon as the course opens. And just letting you know, the first three students that purchase the course will also get a free Etsy shop critique. So I highly suggest that you set your alarms for October 11th at 12.30. Okay, so here is the three-star rating that we got. Very small, not what I expected, sorry. Now, this is something that can also happen to you. People complaining about the size, the color, the material. The important thing is that you need a safety net. What I mean by that is that you need to have a very detailed description to avoid reviews like that. But if they do happen, then you can point it out to the customer. So here is the response to the negative review. Hi, Eileen. We are so sorry to hear that you are not happy with our banner. Customer satisfaction is our number one priority, and we always want to ensure that customers are happy with their purchase. For that reason, we are extremely careful with our listing description, making sure we give as much detail as possible. Under the product description, we wrote, size 40, 40 inches long by four inches high, blah, blah, blah. This is just me. And then I just go over what I exactly say under the description. We always recommend that shoppers look at photos submitted by customers under reviews and the photo variations uploaded for product size accuracy. If there are any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. We are just a message away. So as you, as you can see, once again, we started by apologizing and saying that customer satisfaction is our number one priority. We then say we are extremely careful with our description and we make sure that we talk about the exact size under our description. The last part is more for shoppers that might be reading this response. So this is why I say we always recommend that shoppers look at photos submitted, submitted by customers and look at photo variations. And if you have any questions, please ask us. Now, depending on the negative review, we will message the shopper before we respond to their review. We explain the situation or we try to fix the situation, whatever it is. And a lot of times we are able to fix the problem. And you will be surprised by how many people end up changing their review once we help them out and once we solve this problem for them. For example, in the past, I have gotten reviews of people complaining that they couldn't figure it out how to print or download their digital product. So they left me a one-star review. So I messaged them, I worked with them, I explained exactly how to download it, explained exactly how to print it. And then once the problem was solved, once they were happy with the outcome, they went ahead and changed their one-star review to a five-star review. And if you are in the same situation, you message the shopper and you solved the problem, but they didn't change their review, feel free to ask them, explain to them how a negative rating can highly impact your business and kindly ask them if they can change their review. So keep in mind, if this is a problem that can be solved, 
make sure to message them before you respond to that rating because once you respond to the review that the shopper cannot go back into it and change it so if, if this is something that can be fixed message them fix the problem and ask them to change their review. So that is what I have for you guys. I hope this was helpful. If you are watching this, then this is this might be because you got your first one star review and you don't know how to deal with it. I know they suck. I know we do everything to prevent them. But as I said, they happen. We get one star reviews no matter how hard we are working. They will come, unfortunately. So take a deep breath and do whatever you can. And if this was something that it was your fault, that is, there is no real solution to it, then learn with your mistakes and message the shopper right away, apologize to them, respond to their review, and just make sure that this, that this mistake won't happen again. If you guys liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. You can comment with any questions you have or any video suggestions you have for the future. Hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.